celebrities, this is your sassy but classy host, Jerisa B. And I am here with Kim Howard, who <laughs> is the queen of acting is my day job. Hello. We're going to learn a whole lot today because who doesn't want to know about being an actress <laughs> full time? Kim, so first of all, tell me a little bit about the blog that you have. Okay. Um, the blog is called Acting Is My Day Job. Um, I have a coaching business where I career coach people that want to get into the crazy world of, of acting. <laughs> and um, partly I, I wanted to offer something to people that wasn't about, because um, coaching is for pay. And so two things, I do the blog um, weekly, which is free, and I try to think of topics that um, information that I wish I knew about when I was first starting off and helpful tips to get it going in terms of thinking of it more so as career and not just craft. So that's what um, Acting is My Day Job blog is, is all about. So you also mentioned um, the seven challenges for working actors and one thing that I wanted to know is you mentioned getting accustomed to the fact that auditioning is your real job. Mm -hmm. How do you prioritize it when, and I know you're saying you, you need to have a job and blah, 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 but it it's, gets such a hard balance because you know you want to like eat um, <laughs> for one and then you want to have fun and in New York and LA, those two huge cities are so expensive. Right. How do you prioritize auditioning when you need to like... I just, from the beginning, made it a priority. I literally mm -hmm. remember doing things like, <laughs> I had another friend of mine who was also an actor and mm -hmm. she would temp, and so sometimes we'd have like brainstorm sessions, like okay, <laughs> I, I have an audition, mm -hmm. and what can I say to my boss so that I can get extra time during lunch to make all the auditions for the day? And oh, we'd strategize yeah. like, okay, and I'm not even gonna tell you what my favorite excuse was, but it's I a good know. one. Oh, because you don't need a doctor's note, but no one will question you. What is it? You call in that morning you and go. you say, oh my goodness, I'm so embarrassed to say, but I am having stomach issues and I am stuck <laughs> on the toilet and cannot leave and I cannot come in today. You don't need a doctor's note. It works for me. <laughs> It works for me. I remember leaving my leaving my jacket on the back of the chair so that I looked like I just went to the bathroom for a second and just taking the risk. Because my, my thing was, okay, I never worry about getting a job. I can get mm -hmm. a job. Mm -hmm. I can go work in someone's office. I can talk my way into a nine to five. Right. But I can't talk my way into another audition opportunity. You can't. So I just always made that my priority. And mm -hmm. if, if I took the risk of this, if I got fired from the day job, I'll go get another one, mm -hmm. you know? I'm like, I live in New York. I can find another bar to bartend at. I can, right. you know, find another office that will give me a chance. I have enough people that I've worked for in the past that'll give me a reference. Mm -hmm. I don't need every person to be a reference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, I just Make looked at work. that as, as my priority, so from the beginning. And, um, there's another thing that you mentioned on your blog, which you guys should really check out, being an actor with integrity. Yes. Talk a little bit about that. Well, you know, once again, in that, in that balancing act, I find that a lot of times working with people, you know, people show up late consistently mm -hmm. um, or don't show up at all. I remember um, a casting director doing, you know, a seminar workshop, and she was like, I can say this, because I'm Jewish, but a lot of actors, especially actors of color, they don't show up on time, they don't show up at all, they don't call, you know, um, mm -hmm. and not just actors of color, because I, I've, I've heard casting directors just speak to that in general, mm -hmm. about um, actors not showing up on time or not showing up, so, you know, when I say being an actor of integrity, if you say you're gonna do something, just do it. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's much better to have that reputation of being someone that people can count on and they know that you're of your word. I mean, people used to do business nice. on a handshake. That's true. Be, be that person be that in person. this business because the word gets around. It's a tiny little world out there. Yeah. People will hear if you, um, you know, don't do what you say you're going to do. And it's something as simple as show up on time. Do you have any other tips for beginning actors um, about just how to get their feet wet, get grounded in, in this? 
I think this madhouse industry. <laughs> yeah, I think um, for me, the advice would be. What you see on TV oftentimes is um, very well scripted and, and crafted marketing and PR. Many overnight successes um, happened after decades of plugging at it. Yes. Um, you know, if you don't have the right last name, then you better be about the business of creating your own work. Um, I just did an interview with an actress who I really respect, um, Rosalind Coleman William, mm -hmm. Williams. Um, mm -hmm. I'll be writing that up for my blog, so be on the I lookout love her. for that. <laughs> and one She's of, amazing. Yes. <laughs> She's amazing. And one of the things she said was, you know, that, and, and I agree, falling in love with the journey. Like, you have mm -hmm. to love, you know, um, the process. And it took me 20 years to fall in love with the journey because I thought, you become an actor and you start right. doing small jobs and then you start doing bigger and bigger jobs and it's this slow upward climb like the corporate ladder and right. it's not, it's, 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 it's all over the place. Mm -hmm. So know that it's all over the place, know that it can be inconsistent. You might be one of those people that just hits and takes off right away, you might not. Right. So to be prepared for how it's gonna happen either way and um, definitely write, direct, produce, um, learn all sides of, of the industry um, and, and be about the internet is the great you know yes, equalizer <laughs> create what it is that you want to do and make it good it has to be good yeah. and make sure that you you really are good so study study your craft but also don't be afraid of the business because you have right. to do both it's show business <laughs> yes it is so Thank you so much, Kim. Oh, wait, let me mention, because this will be out, um, you do have a meetup group as well. Oh, yes, that's the other part of it. Um, and I the next one the is? Blog. The next one is going to be September 22nd. You can go to meetup.com mm -hmm. and search Acting is My Day Job. Um, it will be in Manhattan at Simple Studios. And I have another exciting panel of um, working actors to talk to you and answer your questions because one of the things you'll realize is that nobody's journey is the same in this. No. It's, it's so unpredictable okay. and, and so crazy but so possible. And all right guys, go to her blog. Don't be strangers. Don't if be you're in New York, be at the meetup on <laughs> September 22nd. And the blog is www.actingismydayjobcoach.com slash blog. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll post it. So great. Cool. Awesome. See you next time, local celebrities.